Jackie. Oh, perfect, just what I don't need. Who are they? The River Boys. A surfy gang from Mangrove River. Yeah, they don't usually hang out in the bay. Which means they're probably here to cause trouble. Excuse me. Good evening, gents. Oi, friendly face. Oh, you did me for speeding last year. That's right, it cost me 400 bucks. What are you doing behind the bar? We undercover, eh? Big drug bus going down. No, I own this bar. I don't want any trouble, you understand? Don't get heavy. We're just a couple of lonely, unattached guys come to meet some single girls. That's what it said in your flyer, after all. Have a bourbon, thanks. Same. With a beer chaser. Thank you, waiter. Serious trouble. These friends, no angels either. Why are the bad ones always so hot? Hey, good luck. Not that you're gonna need it. Thank you. I probably need a suit of armor. <laughs> good evening. I'm uh, Liam Murphy. Get off, Murphy, you suck! This is a song from my latest record. I hope you enjoy it. Closes in 10 minutes. Well, the sign outside says you're open for another hour. Yeah, well, tonight's a special night. And why is that? Because we're here. Yeah, refusing our service could be seen as discrimination. It could also be seen as responsible service of alcohol, and I think you guys have had enough. Yeah, mate, you didn't seem to be too worried about that one. Why are you taking anything for? You know, Angelo started it. You're more than welcome to accompany your brother down to the station if you want to have use case. Yeah, so I reckon you'd like that, though, eh? Guys, you need to get out of here, okay? Teacher, right? You're miles, huh? We just thinking maybe you could pass on a message for us. So we already got taken out last night. We saw him after. Looks like he got hit in the head with a bottle. Listen, you tell your friend if he remembers who did it, he should let us know. We'll sort it out for him. It's just we like to deal with things our own way, keep the cops out of it. I, mean, I know you understand. It says it on the sign. Jeez, who'd have thought a bit of fun could turn into this? Seriously, you're going to have to be more careful with who you let into this place. What do you want, Brax? Once a copper, always a copper. You are just like your mates down at the station, getting all worked up over nothing. Take a look around. You call this nothing? Or just like the stitches in my mate's head? It's a bit of biff. It's character building. <laughs> we'll tell that to the magistrate. Yeah, well, we'll see if it gets to that. It's like, how often do you have these singles nights? Oh, trust me, it won't be happening again. It's too bad. It's a great place you got here. It's not your usual RSL number. That's because it's a surf club. You could really get into a place like this. Like I said, we're closed, so if you don't mind... Right. Oh, hey. 
about last night, like, no one wants a repeat of that. So as long as both sides agree not to let it go any further, I reckon you should be pretty safe to bolt your chairs back together. Kidding me. Relax. Come bearing gifts. What vodka? Top shelf stuff too. Apparently. I mean, personally, I prefer bourbon, but what would I know? Eh? Well, I've already spoken to Miles. The school teacher with the stitches in his head. Good on you. But I can't stop him if he wants to make a statement. Mate, I don't need to bribe people to get them to do what I want. <laughs> Look, your stock's running low, and I'm sure that rumble last night took out a few extra. And I can get bargain price booze, and plenty of it. Could be the answer to your problems. No offence, but I'm not that desperate that I'll need to go into business with you. Now I'll say it again, the place is closed. No offence, but you're not a copper anymore, so you can lose the holier than now act. All I'm saying is, if you were to go with my offer, it'd be a very good thing. And, like, not just for you, the whole town as well. First case is on the house. World War Three. Huh. With you and Indy. Look, can we just not talk about it, please? Just giving you exactly what you expect. Nothing more, nothing less. Yes, Sergeant. What do you want? I was surprised to see you all surfing here today instead of in the bay. Oh, we go with the surf. It's no big deal. Right. So your decision had nothing to do with what happened there yesterday? All that happened yesterday was a kid fell off his board and hit his head. It was an accident. It's no big deal. Well, from what I've heard, there was a whole lot of aggro going around, especially when it comes to who's meant to be surfing where. We don't go around picking on grommets, all right? Anyone who's actually spent time here knows that. Kids don't get into trouble at Wilson's because they know we're watching it. You're going to have to stop or I'll be getting out my violin. <laughs> Proving my point. Which is? You don't care about the truth, eh? Yeah, you've already made up your mind about what happened. Well, if that were true, I would have already arrested your brother. If anything, you should be thanking Heath for saving that kid from drowning. OK, the fact remains that every time you guys show up in the bay, tension rises. So I don't know, maybe you just want to stick to surfing here at Wilson's. So you're warning us off? Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, except we've got exactly the same right to enjoy the local beaches as everyone else. And if we're keeping our noses clean, which of course we will be, there's really nothing you can do about it. going off. Oh, no thanks to you and your mates. Come on, you open your door to the public, sometimes they're going to walk in, it's just the way it goes. Do you want to tell me why you're here? Like as you said, it's a place of business, open to the public. OK, your cute little lines aren't going to work with me. I was just going to let you know that my offer from last week still stands. Anytime you need some help, you just give the word. I've already told you, I can look after my supplies. So no problem? No, no problem. Do you want some lunch? Yeah, that'd be great. Just uh, take away the usual. Sure. Thanks. Uh, I was looking for your brother, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, VJ, the boy who was injured. He remembered what happened, and it was an accident. He got wiped out by a wave and hit his head on the sand, he thinks. Okay. Go on, I'm still waiting for you to say I'm sorry. Yeah, let's just say your brother's off the hook and don't push your luck. Apology accepted. I don't think anyone can make a mistake, but, you know, 
being in your line of work, I guess you don't want to make too many. Yeah, well, the same goes for you, I guess. Just hang on, are you two together or...? It is none of your business. So, is that a no? Like I just said, don't push your luck.